Today I will show you how you can render all your passes from Unreal Engine. So if you're new to 3D and this type of things and you don't know about passes, so basically the passes are the kind of extra data for your renders. So in this one, if I go to lit view, you can see I have a scene there. And if I just go to the lit and then if I go to the buffer visualization and if I just click on base color, you can see that we have a base color pass. And then if I go to custom depth you will not gonna see anything in this one but if i go to for example roughness you can see all the roughness data in this pass and then we have scene depth this is our depth pass and we can easily add any kind of fog layer or anything after render so that's the use of this scene depth pass like this you can render each and every passes separately so that you can control your scene after your render so that's the advantage of passes so now how you can render this basically you have to just go to your render settings just use your regular render setting whatever you are using you have to just make sure that you are using exr 16 bit and you can also use the compression level to duab or dua uh, you can also leave this thing to none but the file size will be kind of very large if you are using none or piz so it is recommended to use dua or duap to get a minimum file size then the main settings is in the deferred rendering and this one you will get the option of additional post process material so we have to add the material in this area so you will not gonna see that many options you will just see one or two options there index zero and index one what you have to do you have to just click on add it will add a new index to your this thing then you have to just enable this and in the material section you have to choose your pass so for example i want to render my depth pass so i will just search for scene depth and you will see that we have three options you have to use this one material one so this thing will render your scene depth pass with your exr file and for example if i want to add something new so i will just add an index and then um you have to just go to the material section and I will write ambient occlusion. So you can add this pass also. So just click on this and it will be added to your render. So similarly, you can render everything. So most of the time you need kind of few passes, not too many. Uh, it depends on your scene, what you want to do with your passes. So that's the thing. So I will just add one more pass and that is normal. So if I just write normal pass, then you will get a world normal pass. So you have to just click on this and it will automatically add it to your EXR file. So the advantage of using EXR instead of using any PNG or anything that you will not going to get multiple files for multiple passes. So for example, if I use a PNG there instead of a EXR, then what will happen when it renders the scene, it will separate all these things in a separate folder. Not folder, but in a separate PNG file. So it will just make you feel more confused. To avoid those type of things, we are using EXR. So with the EXR, it will merge everything into one single layer and you will get everything into one EXR file. You don't need to uh, grab separate things for separate files. So that's the advantage of EXR. And then you can just click on render and it will render all your passes so when that will be rendered you will get this type of files exr files uh, you can see so if i click and open this one uh, you will see this type of things so you can't preview your exr file in your windows thing you need to install a software called djv so if i just go and write djv uh, you will get a download option here this one djv you have to just go and download this one this is not the original side of this thing. So make sure that you are downloading this thing with the original site of DJV and then you are good to go. You have to just install that and now you can preview your EXR files. So just click on one file there and you can see that this is working. So in this one, in this DJV file also, you can preview your files, but I forgot how to preview that. I think maybe it was in uh, next layer. Yes, uh, yes, you can click on next layer and you can see all your passes there there is a better way to do this thing but i i forgot how to do that but yeah you get my point so you can see all your passes there and this is motion vector pass um, and then this is i think world uh, world position i think so now i will show you how you can use this thing in nuke you can use any software any compositing software it, it does not matter that much so this is nuke uh, you have to just drag your file there and 
you will get this type of things so if i connect this thing to the viewer node uh, you can see that we are having our render and now what you have to do in order to preview or in order to use your passes click on tab and you have to search for shuffle node so you will get this option you have to just connect this thing and in this one you will get rgba files and you will get all your passes there so for example i want to use my scene depth pass i will just click on this one and you can see there we have our scene depth so yeah that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching